<laughs> What's going on guys? Another day, another delivery. Let's check this one out. It's a pretty large package, which gets you pretty excited. Let's get straight into it. Welcome to Team Metabo. As you can see, we've got the 36 volt lawnmower. Very nice. So we've got a few other bits and pieces. Obviously you've got two 18 volt batteries, which go with this. You've got to use both of them and they're two 10 amps and a charger, which will also go fantastic with the brand new S key I got straight from Metabo. This one here, don't mind the mess guys. This is sort of in between doing all the shed stuff. So this is actually a cooling and heating Esky, how good is that? So I'll definitely be utilizing that, throw the beers in there while I even mow. So a lot of you are probably questioning whether I am moving over to Team Metabo full time um, with everything. So what I am planning to do is buy a lot more skins from Metabo. Now that I have a couple of 10 amp batteries and a battery charger, they are sort of the more expensive parts of having a tool platform, having a tool brand. So with having those batteries in the charger, I'm definitely gonna be buying a lot more of their skins. And I'm hoping this year that we can try out a few other brands. So let me know what brands I should be hitting, but let's start putting this mower together and see if it works. All right, don't mind the attire guys. I'm literally just off work, picked up the kids. We got home, got this yesterday, been keen as to open it. This is a catcher, all right. Feels pretty nice. It's been ages since I've had a uh, usual or normal catcher. Obviously, if you've been following for long enough, I have the real mower. So yeah, it's a little bit different. I'm definitely keen to try a rotary mower for a bit. I'm very excited. This is, uh, this is gonna be good. I don't even know what an electric mower weighs. So it's probably about the same as a normal mower. Not bad, not bad. All right, so. Let's take this outside, eh? Good news! Matabo. All right, got to get the, the instructions here. Yeah? All the basics, height adjustments, throttle control. Yep, yep, yep. Comes with the blade, it's good. It's very good. All right, let's go. Packaging, packaging. All right, this should be pretty straightforward, shouldn't it? Do we uh, take this one off? There we go. Looks like these pull out. Oh yeah, there we go. One, two, yeah, that's already pulled out. All right, so, locked in. So you've got three adjustments on the rail. Lock it in. And as you see, lock in high, medium, low. We'll leave it at that at the moment. We'll play around with that later. So before we put the bag on, I want to show you so this is a mulching mower. And so what this basically means is you can use this to mulch the lawn so don't have a catcher on it. And it uh, cuts it up fine enough that it can basically go back into the soil. If you don't have a mulching mower that actually precisely does that, I would not recommend it. It'll uh, just clog up your lawn, turn into thatch, and um, yeah, there's no real benefit. So that's a real good addition to this mower. But for now, we'll take this out because I'm not going to use that function. So this should be self-explanatory. You've got two hooks on the side. Clips in. Let's get into this. Nice little case. There you go. 10 amp battery. Got two of those. Through the magic of editing, these are now charged. So, boom. Did that last time. So, I'm pretty sure, oi, there you go. One, and number two. Way too easy. All right, I think we're ready to go. As you can see, the lawn's looking pretty good at the moment. And usually I am using a real mower or a cylinder mower. And I have left it a couple of days just so I could give it a good cut with this. We'll only take it down a little bit at the moment. So we don't want to take off too much. We'll raise this up. We'll go fairly high. Looks pretty close. That's up on a five. Might even start it on a six. I don't want to uh, scalp the lawn. All right, so it says to hold this down. This is going to be the first start. Pull this. Turns off. Gotta admit, that feels pretty cool. That's the first time I've ever started up anything like this. I'm used to the uh, petrol motors. So, man, 
Let, let's uh, let's do this. What we might do is drop it down. There we go. So first cut. I haven't taken too much off, which is something you don't want to do. Pretty happy with the sofa, but we'll go out. Obviously, we're not going to keep the lines too much because this doesn't have a roller like the cylinder mower again. But I am looking forward to seeing how this comes up. Just dropped it down to two, which is actually getting pretty low. I keep this pretty high. I don't know if I've taken a little bit too much off. So if you guys don't know, you usually should be only taking about a third off. I am liking that cut though. That is looking really good. So what I might do is we'll uh, do it at that height. Screw it. If it scalps, it scalps. Um, I am thinking about doing a small reno and this will probably come in handy for the reno, but let's see if it's capable of going lower. One of the downsides of the Metabo mower, I would have to say, is that it's not a self-propelled mower. So when you get to these lower cut heights, you are having to exert a little bit more energy while pushing, as you can see in this video, and I will be doing a bit more of a close-up later on. So that would be something to take into consideration. It's bloody hot. Doesn't matter what time it is here. Bloody hot. Look at that. I missed the rotary cut. Used to only use the rotary and sort of reminiscing a bit. Where do you guys stand? You're on the rotary, you're on the cylinder, but not a bad, bad cut at all. So I didn't actually time how long it took, but this is a little bit over a hundred. I think this is 110 square meters, all of this. And obviously we cut a little bit first and then recut it. So actually we should be able to see on there, if we start this up. So that looks like she's full. Can I press that? Full, full. It's actually pretty impressive. I thought these would have dropped down a fair bit because that was fairly thick. I'm really keen to see how it goes with a Renault when I take this right down. So, I'm looking at taking it probably halfway down. How much have we got in here? That's pretty close to a bag. Probably like three quarters. We'll empty that. But yeah, so three quarters of the bag and full. This is now roughly a month later. I've been using the mower two to three times a week on the front and back. It has been a good mower, but here I will show you some of the problems when getting a little bit lower in the cut height. So. When you get a bit lower, this is on one, and it does it a little bit on two, you can see the bottom sits on the grass, makes it really hard to push. And uh, because of that, you start pushing a little bit more, and it really starts to scalp. Did it up here, and we did it down here as well. It sort of bogs down in certain spots, so. Wouldn't say it's a great mower when it comes to the lower heights. And I think it also starts to grab on these. Because you can see that this isn't very high. So obviously when you're high, it's all right. But that's number two. Number three, or number one, sorry, that's on one. She really doesn't like that. See, I don't know if you can see that. Really scalped. So me trying. It's absolutely insane. So we'll go to number two. A lot better. But it's not really that deep. So I've been using the Metabo battery powered mower for roughly a month and a half now. I've been using it three times a, or up to three times a week 
on the front and back and it has been fantastic. It did do the Renault. I will have that video up sometime after this video. And overall, it worked pretty well. I would rather a self-propelled mower. So that is one downfall. But if you're looking at mowing a smaller lawn, 100 square meters, maximum probably 200. I wouldn't want to be doing much more than that without a self-propelled. It's definitely a lot of work. Uh, this definitely works great. Then obviously when we're looking at lower cuts, getting to the level two and level one, heights on this, it does struggle. It does start to scrape and then scalp. So I do recommend it for the higher lawns at the moment. It is probably at the minimum or the maximum height that this lawn could be with this mower. I wouldn't want to go much lower. The battery runtime is fantastic. I was only charging the batteries probably once a week with two or three mows, that's front and back. So that's 200 square meters with the front and back. So I was roughly doing 600 square meters before I had to charge up the batteries again. That is two 10 amp batteries. Definitely is quiet and I do like that it has the mulching feature. So I hope that all this has helped guys. Let me know, give me some feedback and until next time, stay addicted to tools.